This video is going to be going over tariffs and are they good for the economy. And spoiler alert, unfortunately the answer is going to be it depends. More specifically, it's going to depend on who you are. So let's imagine that we're the home country that's considering a tariff. If we place a tariff on, say, apples, and we're in the home country, then apple producers are better off. Apple producers are happy because there's a tariff on apples, which means that they have to compete less with foreign apple producers. However, everybody else pays more for apples. So they are worse off. So it's bad for the economy. So basically, when we look at tariffs, the tariff that is being placed on a certain good, in this case apples, makes those apple producers better off. And in general, those apple producers are producing jobs. So people whose jobs are involved in producing apples are better off, whereas everybody else pays higher prices. That's not good. Let's look at the graph. In general, we consider a tariff to affect the international market. So this might be an example of apples, the market for apples in our domestic economy. If we're in autarky, which means no trade, we would have an equilibrium price and an equilibrium quantity, everything would be good. Now let's throw in the international supply of apples. So what happens here is you can see that this will drive down the equilibrium price, which reduces the quantity supplied of domestic apples, but it increases the domestic consumption of apples. So what happens when we put a tariff on these apples? Well, what that does is it effectively raises the price So we draw this line up a little bit more, and you can see that what happens is we get an increase in domestic consumption of apples. I'm sorry, domestic production. But what we get also is a decrease in domestic consumption of apples. So again, are tariffs good for the economy? Well, yeah, if you're a producer, you're producing more, and your producer surplus goes up. You're making more profit. That's great. But if you're a consumer, you can see that your price goes up, your consumption goes down, and your consumer surplus, which used to be this whole area, is now only this area. So does a tariff on apples make the economy better off? Well, it depends. If we're only looking at total surplus, no. It makes the economy worse off. But if we really care about apple producers and the jobs that apple production makes, then yeah. It could be justified and make the economy better off. Now let's look at it on the other hand. Let's say that a foreign country puts a tariff on your good. Imposes tariff. If we look at this example here, you can see that the amount of foreign apples being imported used to be this amount and now it's only this amount. So what happens to all those extra apples? Well, that means that the foreign countries producing those apples don't produce them anymore. The amount of their quantity supplied goes down, and that means they produce less. So production goes down, and that means the jobs in that particular sector go down. And so this is why there is a strong 
sort of international cooperation to not put tariffs on selected goods because there's this motivation to protect jobs and production in your own country. And you can see that if you are importing a good, it would be very easy to increase the amount of jobs in your country by slapping a tariff on your goods. However, if everybody started doing that, then you can see that they try to protect jobs in the Apple sector. Uh, somebody else could impose a tariff on something else to protect jobs in their sector. And then we have a start of what some people would call to be a trade war.